Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records. And we're talking Ozzy Osbourne today, more specifically Ozzy Osbourne solo material. You know, Ozzy just turned 75 on December 3rd. And, you know, I kind of wanted to start this show off kind of talking about a couple things. Ozzy seeming, seems to be not doing very well. And there's a lot in the press every other day He's coming up with things like Sharon coming out and saying, hey, it's a crime that Ozzy's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo artist. Now Ozzy's saying, I'm not comfortable with the metal tag. When, of course, Black Sabbath kind of founds metal and Ozzy continues that in his solo career. Um, Ozzy's also come out and said, I'm still hoping for a number one album as a solo career and Ozzy's been consistent even as he ages on putting out albums he's also said that reality TV today is not as real as what he did with his show and I you know, you know there's been talk down the line uh, by the way uh, check out my channel and subscribe if you like this content we try to do shows every day you know it's been said that you know some of the songs on on um, Bark at the Moon that, that Jakey Lee never got credit for those and that Ozzy's been famous for not giving credit to younger artists you know even as early as the Blizzard of Oz albums and Diary of a Madman and Sharon of course is polarizing and she runs her mouth a lot and I kind of wanted to start this show off kind of just talking about some negative things in Ozzy and then it got to thinking you know Sharon's kind of right. Maybe Ozzy does absolutely belong as a second time rock and roll member. Of course, Black Sabbath's in. You know, between Ozzy and Sabbath, he sold 100 million albums. And, you know, he, he's, he really, you know, he got kicked out of Sabbath, what, in 78? And by 1980, he's got Randy Rhodes, has a new band. You know, they, they come out with, with with Blizzard of Oz, with with Goodbye to Romance on it, Crazy Train, Diary of a Madman. I mean, listen to some of these songs. Steal Away, Flying High Again, Mr. Crowley, Shot in the Dark, Patient Number Nine, You Can't Kill Rock and Roll, Bark at the Moon, Perry Mason, uh, Believer, Crazy Train, I don't want to stop off the Black Rain album. You know, he it seems like even when he comes out with albums in modern times, there's still at least one kind of radio-friendly single off it. No More Tears, Over the Mountain, Road to Nowhere, I, 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 I Don't Know, which I love, Miracle Man, Mama, I'm Coming Home. You know, what, Ozzy held that torch and waved that flag for metal. He says he doesn't want to be the metal tag. I know his heroes are the Beatles and Paul McCartney. And I, I think he wants to be accepted in that world. And I think he should be accepted in the world. He was smart enough, maybe Sharon was smart enough, to find Randy out of Quiet Riot, to find Jakey e. Lee, you know, to find Zach Wilde, to get Gus G, to get these guys to form these bands, to write these songs, to wave the flag of metal, to be crazy and controversial and, and absurd at times. And all the things that he did in his solo career, let's face it, his solo career is just as valid in a lot of ways as the, as the Sabbath stuff. Yes, Sabbath was the originator. And yes, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame hates hard rock and heavy metal, especially heavy metal. They just can't stand it. And letting Ozzy in a second time forces them to accept him on a musical level. And again, you know, as I started this, I was thinking it's kind of pathetic for Ozzy to keep wanting his number one album, wanting an additional Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, wanting not to be metal. What he wants is to, as he, and I'm afraid to say this, but I think Ozzy's not long for maybe this world. Uh, I don't think he's doing well at all. He bowed out a power trip. Um, we're hearing him talk more, but it's also about his health and he's not doing well. Happy 75th birthday, Ozzy. In my opinion, what more can you do than write 
you know, 25 or help write or sing on you know, 25 to 30 classic uh, solo songs, not to mention the stuff that you birthed out of, out of Sabbath with the help of Bill Ward, Tony Iommi, and Geezer Butler. Uh, those are just my thoughts. Let Ozzy in, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Free Ozzy Osbourne. Hell, put Sharon Osbourne in the Hall of Fame too. She's done a lot to help him. And, um, you know, as much as she can be polarizing, man, she's managed that career of that man um, who who needed that. He, need, he needed the strength of her to push through uh, some of his issues. And anyway, those are my thoughts. Check out my channel. Subscribe. We do shows every single day. Peace out. See ya.